My name is Bill and I'm going to help you get the best possible audio for your instrument demonstration on YouTube. So let's say you have your favorite bass riff and you want to share it with everybody. And this is what you record. Sounds great, right? Maybe not. Maybe it sounds like this. Or maybe it sounds like this. Or God forbid, it sounds like this. So I'm going to tell you the entire signal chain from beginning to end, the recording process, the editing process on how you can mix and match both your voice, your instrument, uh, and uh, camera audio and video, get it all synced up together and uh, edit it and package something that uh, is usable for everybody. Uh, the sound of your instrument for a music instrument video is the most important thing sound of your voice it's important but it can be terrible the video could be god awful people don't care if it sounds great they're going to fuck you anyway so let's begin uh there will be timestamps below first we're going to talk about the signal chain so first and foremost uh i have a focus right scarlet 2i2 usb interface it has two inputs each one of those inputs can use either a quarter inch jack or an xlr Going into that, on the left channel, channel one, I have a microphone above my head. Going into channel two, uh, I'm recording direct, as in I'm going to this guitar amp here, believe it or not, from the bass. And from the guitar amp, I'm going into channel two. Now for video, I have a Samsung Galaxy S9 in front of me. And then that, of course, records audio as well. That's the signal chain. Let's talk about the recording process. So on my computer, I go to Windows Voice Recorder, believe it or not, and that's gonna record everything going into the Scarlett USB interface. So I'll fire that up, hit record. I go to the camera, hit record. And now comes one of the most important steps you'll ever do. So do you remember the movie clicker things, you know, action? Well, I do that with a bass. All I'm looking for when I go to edit this is on two different audio tracks, both the camera and the direct, I am looking for a series of four spikes so I can synchronize the video together. So at this point, uh, I'll record and then I'll shut down the application. I will shut down uh, the phone recording and then we'll go to my editing software choice, which is uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio. Uh, everything I do in this particular one should be on the free side of things. Uh, and of course, your favorite video editing software will probably get the job done as well. Okay, we're here in DaVinci Resolve. <clears throat> in the media pool, I have uh, both our video with audio from the camera and our good audio from the USB a device that we captured through a voice recorder. So let's drag and drop the uh, video here. And I'm going to go over to we're already on the edit tab. So I'll drop the, uh, the good audio, the direct audio. And as you can see, it'd be pretty easy just to sync these up by looking at them. It's not always this easy. So I'm going to scroll over. And these are the four thumps, uh, if you recall, that I used to uh, make sure we could synchronize. You know, action. So we're going to select the top two tracks and just drag them over. 
see how much we can line that up. And then we're going to zoom in. I'm going to hold down the Alt key, use the uh, mouse wheel to scroll in. A little more. And gone a little too far, it looks like. Let's bring us back a hair. Let's see what that sounds like. Perfect. Scroll out again. And now let's just get down to the uh, the clip we need. Yeah. So I'm just going to select all three tracks. Hit Control Backspace. Delete uh, those tracks, and then also let's get to the end of the bass and do the same thing and get rid of the rest of this. We don't need it for this demo here. So I want you to listen to how things sound currently. Here's your voice. I hope you get the best possible audio for your instrument demonstration on YouTube. So there's two audio sources right now. We have my overhead microphone, which sounds amazing. And we have the uh, Samsung Galaxy S9, which sounds okay. Now, the same thing going on with the bass right now. So let's fix that. We need to remove this audio here. This is the audio from the Samsung phone. So first thing, uh, I am going to go up here and I'm going to link these together and then I'm going to unlink them. Occasionally, uh, DaVinci Resolve will want to delete the video track. I don't want that to happen. So now that I've manually linked them, unlinked them, choose delete and we're good. So now, uh, the only vocals are, uh, there's only one, the good audio. So if you listen, this should be fine now. And I'm going to help you get the best possible audio for your instrument. Now, if you notice, we only hear it on the right side. And then when we go to the bass, what we're actually hearing is we're hearing the direct signal on the left channel. And on the right channel, uh, we are hearing the bleed over of the bass into the overhead mic, and we don't want that. So what we want to do is we want to separate these on separate tracks, and then we also want them to where the bass is playing through uh, left and right on its track, and the vocals are also doing the same. DaVinci Resolve handles uh, some audio tracks a little weird, so I'll show you how I do it. We're going to highlight this. We're going to choose Alt, drag down. So we've made a copy. Now I'm going to right click, we're going to go into click clip attributes and we're going to tell this that both left and right need to be the uh, input one from the uh, USB interface, essentially. Now we're going to go down here, we're going to right click, go to clip attributes on the second channel and then we'll uh, set that to two. While we're at it, life easy. Call this one voice. I'm going to call this one face. All right, so if you listen now, so this should sound great. The best possible audio for your instrument demonstration on YouTube. Here we go. So let's say you have your favorite bass. So that's good. Now, if you listen to the bass, though. But if you look down here, there's that really nice clean bass. So if we were to mute this, oh yeah, there it is. Now, what we don't want to do is any sort of manual thing where, you know, anytime you play the bass, you have to turn the vocals down. I used to do that. That was dumb. So uh, one of the reasons I switched over to DaVinci from Vegas uh, is what you'll see here in a second, which to me just made my workflow so much faster. So we're going to take advantage of a feature known as ducking or a side chain compression. Uh, it is built into DaVinci Resolve, including the free version. So let's take a look. We're going to go to the audio tab, which is called Fairlight. We're going to go over here to the right and A1 is actually our voice. So we're going to double click dynamics. We're going to enable the compressor. We're going to set it to listen. I'm going to set the threshold down to zero, set the ratio down up to max. Now we're going to go over to the 
base channel. We're going to set uh, the compressor on and we're going to set it to send. So what we've done is we've told the voice channel, I want you to listen to the bass channel. And anytime it's playing, we're going to compress this so much that we really even shouldn't hear anything. So let's go back to edit and let's, let's have a listen here. I had the voice channel muted. It's riff and you want to share it with everybody. And this is what you record. There we go. Pristine audio. Even though this area here should be interfering with it, our sidechain compression is seeing that we have signal here and it's essentially uh, muting this more or less. So there you have it. Uh, very quick, very easy to do once you understand it. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please give me a like. And if you are into all things bass, uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.